Good morning. Welcome to Morning Review. This is Kim Watson speaking on Wednesday, the 9th of December. Okay, let's look at the euro dollar first and take the bigger picture. And as you can see, the continue, we've seen a bit of a continuation. In fact, yesterday we put in a bit of a pivot swing, which uh, is a bullish sort of pattern. Um, we could see a continuation. This move may be back towards that 50 MA, maybe further. However, in the shorter term frame, we could yet still see a bit more of a, a, a retrace back from where we are at the moment. We haven't hit the uh, daily pivot yet. I'll get this out of the way. We've got an untouched daily pivot below us, and uh, there's a reasonable probability we could come back for that. So that's where we're sitting there. The one thing to bear in mind, though, um, in this overall picture, is the fact that we are in an intermediate time uh, upward trend at the moment. Uh, so roughly where we are, sitting somewhere like this at so the higher lows, higher highs. So we're sitting in this uh, upward trend and preferably I'd prefer to be on that side of things. However, uh, there are um, there is this trend line here. There's a sharper trend line that can be drawn across the lows there. If it does break that, there could be a retest or a test of the daily pivot. It doesn't mean to say that will be it. It could uh, then reverse up and continue back in its mode. But... Um, uh, as I say, there's a possibility we could see um, that hit. If if it doesn't, and it just pulls back part way, where it's already hit the R1, the probability of it pushing much higher is is less anyway. On the, today, we may get up to the R2 sort of zone, uh, which would tie in fairly well with those prior highs over here, where we saw um, every time it got there, quite a few attempts on this alley chart to get into that sort of area. And it failed so it may just uh, be interesting if it does get up to that area okay that's where we sit on the euro in terms of news for the euro today there's nothing uh, significant just checking through um, yep nothing at all uh, boom boom I'm just looking there's nothing at all no <sighs> looked and looked again okay cable uh, cable managed a bit of bounce yesterday afternoon um, after going into its S3 pivot even. Just coming now into some resistance on the four alleys here, uh, into the uh, 30, uh, 21, 34, 50, all bunched up together here, which may see it uh, just roll over. It's again, we're in the short term, it's sort of got this uh, higher low, but uh, and it's broken the trend line, um, which was originally there. So it's, it's broken that. So it, it could be trying trying to push on more. At the moment, it's still got the possibility of pushing up for the R R one, the weekly pivot R one sort of area. But um, to me, it, it's uh, it's looking, as I say, like it's going to run into a bundle of trouble, and we could see a reversal from there. Bigger picture really is still down though in terms of the overall picture. It hasn't taken out this prior high. Just highlight it. Hasn't taken out this prior high here. Um, and so you've got these key highs here, and it hasn't taken this one out. So really, the more significant trend for this part of the market on this intermediate time frame is still down. It's still down on the bigger time frames when you look at the the dailies here. Still in a downward uh, t uh, movement. Right, dollar yen. Okay, no news. Oh, news today. We've got the F FPC meeting minutes, which are at 10.30, which are uh, not very powerful. Okay, looking at the dollar yen, um, it's still in this consolidated phase. It's moving back to the lower side of it. it may get back towards the uh, uh, monthly pivot, the two, uh, the uh, four hourly 200. It is in this uh, phase in, in in the time frame here. It has been making lower lower lows, lower lower highs. Um, so it's 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 certainly in in a in a, in a sort of intermediate short term trend downward, uh, in a choppier movement. So uh, say so there is the possibility it could pull off even further. Already hit daily pivot into into the R1 at the moment. <clears throat> possibility it could come down further towards these prior lows and hit that uh, uh, R1, S1 even, it could come down to the S2 there. So um, certainly there's the possibility. Cool. Me and my R's and S's. Right, okay, dollar yen, Aussie dollar. 
the moment it's to me it's it's catch, caught a cold again a little bit here and it may roll over some more it has bounced off its daily 50 here whether it will get much further from here i'm not sure it's already hit the four hourly upper band and reacted that said it's, it's reacted and pulled back a little bit here so it's it's a bit more neutral but uh negative to neutral and when you look it's broke it there was a, a, a more steeper trend line that had been running down it's broken that on this little pattern here but in the in the end in the end of the day it's a bit of a bear flag um what i'm looking at here so i prefer to be breaking to see it breaking the lows here and continuation continuing towards yesterday's lows and the s1 it's probably a, a much cleaner chart than some of the others in terms of it's consolidated around where it is here i love consolidation because after a period of consolidation we often get a decent move from it so I'll be watching this maybe slowish because the, the aussie can be a bit slow but it was, as we've seen with previous other mornings when it starts trickling off it can move quite nicely uh, so there is the potential for it to to say get back down towards that monthly pivot and the s1 there and finally the canadian dollar now canadian dollar's been hit with oil prices um it's if we come onto this bar here as i already looked and you come up to the monthlies we're, we're, we're well out of the uh, ball game we've got to we've got to scroll back some way uh back to the 2004 fours five sort of area um to be looking at anywhere near where price is at the moment it's just pop a trend line on uh, the chart from there just pop in a couple of these highs but there's the monthly high was there let's just see where we are relative okay well that gives us the next sort of uh, uh key milestone i guess is that 1.4 area uh, it's uh well really at the moment just putting a ball flag in here so the continuation to the upside would probably be favored um it's, it's starting to move forward now so any any break of this upper trend line could see us moving towards yesterday's highs and maybe even up to the r1 again a bit of a cleaner move than some of the european pairs okay uh, just should just look at oil relative to this you see oh, it's actually yesterday so it's, it's, it's consolidated a bit within within a day i mean in, in, fact, in fact we're just sort of trying to just edge out um some sort of bottom here let's turn that back to a daily bar there we go so yesterday a bit of a reversal bar there this is a, a near-term low could possibly be um it's getting very edgy out there for the oil producers they've, they've got to do something about reducing quotas etc and push it to push this price back up unless they're going to see a 30 dollar barrel which is certainly a possibility at this rate in terms of the way the trend's going but uh, in which case i would imagine to see uh, would expect to see uh, the canadian dollar pushing up even further and so you can see yesterday's price action the doe ended up in the doji um today here from this point here well it's got an untouched daily pivot so maybe you see a bit of weakness this morning which will push the canadian dollar up further and uh, give it the kicker to the upside here possibly right that's it um uh, other news out today any news out today is not anything that really to be released as i say the next news is with the uh, um, financial planning committee's mi uh, meeting minutes we've seen all this heard it all um so that's that's already been that come out crude oil inventories at 330 us may give a bit of a kicker and effectively canadian dollar and then really you're looking at eight o'clock for the official cash rate for new zealand so uh you're trading that that may may give, give you some volatility around that time okay that's it for me have a great day bye for now